The Italian city of Verona hosted the 11th Eurasian Economic Forum. The participants discussed the ways of strengthening cooperation between the Eurasian Economic Union and the European Union. The event was attended by leaders of large companies and politicians from 40 countries. The agenda included topics such as creating favorable environment for business development, energy security and digital economy. This year, Kazakhstan was represented by a large delegation. European business people are ready to cooperate with their Kazakhstan colleagues and invest in new projects due to the improvement of the investment climate in Kazakhstan. In this year, the economy in Kazakhstan is still uh, growing again. There are a lot of investment, uh, mainly in the field of uh, oil and gas. And, uh, in this uh, field, many Italian contractors are present and are working a lot. This year's forum in Verona was themed Economy of Trust and Business Diplomacy from the Atlantic to the Pacific. The benefits and capacities of the Astana International Financial Center were also presented at the event. Kazakhstan and China are increasing its trade value. The export and import volume between the two countries grew by almost 21 percent in the first nine months of 2018. The Korgos checkpoint processed goods worth about 14 billion U.S. dollars. The border service officials believe that higher customs clearance rates are attributed to faster delivery time. The goods delivery time from Korgos to Almaty is less than four hours because of the new highway and the vehicle checkpoint Korgos Nurjoli. Goods are dispatched from China in the morning and delivered to the Almaty markets in the afternoon. Export of vegetables is also increasing. More than 25 product categories from Kazakhstan have currently gained access to China's markets, such as frozen meat, confectionery, horticulture products and manufacturing goods. Organic honey is especially popular among the Chinese consumers. The Chinese delegation tested the taste and quality of our honey. One barrel of oil is worth about 70 to 80 US dollars, while one barrel of honey is worth from 700 to 1,500 US dollars. Honey is a renewable resource. Kazakhstan's trading house is set to be opened in the Chinese province of Shanxi to present Kazakh goods in China. Kazakh entrepreneurs will be provided a facility with 5,000 square meters of sales area and 10,000 square meters of large warehouses in a special customs zone. Kazakh agricultural producers increased the exports of goods. A significant share in the total volume of exports belongs to North Kazakhstan region. Local entrepreneurs exported 500,000 tons of products since the beginning of the year. There is a great demand for milk, eggs and flour. Export ka süt önümdere kubuytulda 67 payızga. The export of milk increased by 87 percent, eggs by 81 percent and flour by 14 percent. The main markets are Russia, Belarus, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkey, Afghanistan and China. Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkey, Afghanistan, Qatar and other countries are also in the export of the the largest dairy plant in northern Kazakhstan processes up to 65 tons of milk per day. The enterprise produces kefir, sour cream and cottage cheese. The company's products are in high demand not only in Kazakhstan but in the Russian city of Kurgan as well. The Kazakh plant exported to Russia 1,320 tons of dairy products worth 370 million tenge since the beginning of the year. The output fully meets the EAEU requirements. We export 10 tons of products 12 times a month, 3 times a week to Kurgan. The demand for our products is high. They are sold out rapidly. Farmers in Turkistan region export fruits abroad. Their output is in demand in Russia. In addition to growing apples, the local farmers also establish deep processing operations and plan to export juices to China and the United Arab Emirates.
high-quality education is important for the future of Kazakhstan. In his State of the Nation address, the Kazakh president outlined the priorities for further development of the educational sector. Compliance with international standards and partnerships with the leading universities of the world will provide Kazakhstan with skilled professionals. The Bolashak program is an example of successful cooperation with the United Kingdom. Today, about 300 Kazakh students study in the best universities of the UK. British experts support Nur Sultan Nazarbayev's ideas regarding the need to significantly improve the quality of preschool education because mental and creative abilities are formed at a very young age. Obviously, uh, I've, I've worked in Kazakhstan from 2001 till the, uh, about 2014. I was impressed by the quality of the workforce. Very highly educated, high levels of motivation. These people want to do better. And some of the friendliest and most professional people I've never met in my life. Yes, there is huge potential there. Well, obviously, the, it takes time to work, to develop to educate. Uh, this is, this is uh, not going to be done overnight. It's like investment in any project. It needs investment. It needs investment above all in education. Foreign experts highly appreciate President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev's ideas to increase the government's spending on education, science and health to 10% of GDP. Director of the Asia-Pacific Research Centre, Yom Guho, believes that Kazakhstan is taking its first steps towards transforming the country into a welfare state. <laughs> I think that President Nazarbayev's concept of improving the population's well-being is very productive. It is not just about distribution of funds, but the establishment of the foundation for the economic development. Investments in education, science and technology will contribute to the country's economic development. I think that this address is very important and was announced in due time. IT companies from Kazakhstan has expressed interest to develop information technology market in Uzbekistan and presented nearly 60 different programs and mobile applications at a forum. The programs include information technology and telecommunications, health and education, smart city, transport and security, as well as economics and finance. The Uzbek entrepreneurs showed great interest. The parties signed several memorandums of cooperation. We are looking for different points of interaction, including the smart city mobile application. We are ready to invest here and we are now working on these topics. The application will be self-sustaining. These will be Kazakh investments and it is also possible that we will find a local partner here. In Bishkek, participants of the 4th World Mining Forum discussed about the conservation of animal biodiversity of highland areas in Central Asia. Scientists and researchers, as well as representatives of several countries, talked about the preservation of snow leopard population. The Central Asian countries, including Kazakhstan, are making tremendous efforts to protect the exterminating predatory animal. Scientists say that there is another equally important goal, which is to support the population of mountainous territories that can positively affect the leopard population. Mountains can't compete with cities. They can't compete with plains either due to their natural conditions. Now we must give them a chance and provide some additional opportunities for a decent life in the mountains. This is the main goal. Global warming, which adversely affects the snow leopard habitat, results in the melting of glaciers. An area of glacial mass is gradually decreasing around the world. According to official data, over the past decades, the glaciers in Tajikistan have decreased almost three times due to the climate change. For example, out of 14,000 glaciers, 1,000 have been completely disappeared. In Kyrgyzstan, by 2025, the total area of glaciers may shrink by an average of 30 to 40 percent and by 2100, they might disappear altogether. According to scientists' observations, ice melting is more frequent than precipitation. 
Вот те селевые паводки, оползни, это означает именно изменение климата, потому что увеличилось количество воды. Floods and landslides are signs of the climate change. The increase of water means the decrease in the number of glaciers. This process is inevitable as long as the temperature keeps rising. In Kyrgyzstan, a government decree was issued on reducing import rates of electric and hybrid cars to zero. We do not use greenhouse gas emissions transport. Вот, и снижены на э, гибридные автомобили, чтобы в Кыргызстане э, мы использовали э, такие автомобили, потому что именно парниковые газы идут э, именно от автомобилей. The scientists highlight that the use of new technologies in renewables will contribute to the preservation of ecological purity and biodiversity of mountain systems. Education experts from around the world discuss about schools of the new generation and building the learning process in the 21st century. Astana hosted a research conference where teachers, methodologists and scientists talked about the changing teachers' role in the age of new technologies. Experts say that today it is especially necessary for teachers to realize the importance of new technologies and introduce them into the educational process. New training methods include cloud storage, big data and artificial intelligence. Therefore, students should acquire the knowledge necessary for future professions beginning from school. One of the first approach was applied by the Nazarbayev Intellectual Schools, which this year celebrate their 10th anniversary. Изменился требование к человеку, который приходит на эту работу. Поэтому все это требует и... Enrollment requirements for this job have changed. School is a place where the largest amount of personal development takes place and where the foundation is laid. Therefore, we can't give what a child won't need in the future. Therefore, we ask the same question. Will our efforts and investments in education be justified tomorrow? Насколько... Наши силы, наши инвестиции, которые мы вкладываем на образование, завтра быть оправданными. London hosted a presentation of the book titled The Era of Independence. The historical work of President of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, is available to the English-speaking audience. Leading literary translators of the United Kingdom worked on the book translation. Deep personal reflections of President Nazarbayev on Kazakhstan's development as an independent state have triggered genuine interest among politicians, diplomats, economists and culturologists of the UK. Опыт Казахстана, он вызывает интерес и у англоязычных читателей. Я думаю, что... Kazakhstan's experience is of interest to English speakers. I think that this book will find its reader not only in England, but also in many other countries of Western Europe, as well as the United States of America. We are receiving similar offers. Западной Европы и Соединенных Штатов Америки и уже подобные... During the presentation, a documentary film titled Where the Wind Blew by Andre Singer was shown. The film tells about the consequences of Semi Palatin's nuclear test site. Laureate of international festivals and British film director Andre Singer presented the film himself. I think that the experiences that Kazakhstan's had with um, the testing of nuclear weapons is really um, a big lesson for the rest of the world because obviously this was done in peacetime. After the UK, the Era of Independence book will be showcased in Paris, Berlin and Brazil. Previously, the book was presented in Moscow and St. Petersburg. The occupation of younger days has predetermined the future job of the winner of the 100 New Faces of Kazakhstan project. Bakhar Gul Tolegian is a famous collector and ethnographer who founded one of the first traditional souvenir manufacturing companies in Kazakhstan. Her original products are popular abroad. Her career began with a collection of antiques that currently contains more than 1,000 unique household, applied art and jewelry items of the Kazakh and Central Asian people. The collection also includes copies of monuments and memorials such as by Terek, Golden Man and Korkit Atta.
کین اسیگیله وقت قبولنده علمی پاشی تو ازم نم آزمات قبولشون. انتیکس were handed down from generation to generation in our family. The first antique items in my collection included a green hulling mortar, millstone spindle, grandmother's thimble, and grandfather's horse saddles. خزق قلم باهیونورن در دو نسخه تاو جنی اوس جستارم سانس نه اتبابا دسترن سنگرو. Bakhargul Tolegin decided to turn her hobby into a business 18 years ago. She prefers creating traditional patterns in her souvenirs and jewelry to preserve a link between the past, present and future. The craftswoman's goal is to promote the Kazakh culture and preserve historical items. Last year, Bahar Gul was included in the 100 New Faces of Kazakhstan list. I think she deserves this title. She works with the best artists and designers. Foreign tourists enjoy purchasing unique traditional souvenirs as memorable gifts. The souvenirs were presented at the Asian Games in 2011 and Astana Expo in 2017. The collector is planning to promote her products abroad. Astana is hosting an exhibition of honored worker of Kazakhstan, Alpis Bay Kazigulov, titled Mood of Spring. He is known to experiment with colors. Indeed, his works give the mood of spring. Daily episodes are very light, that is unique to the master's hands. There are more than 100 works. There are paintings written during the college years of the author, as well as contemporary works. Visitors can see Alpis Bay Kazigulov's career, which continues for 42 years. Most of them are abstract paintings. Each of these works is different. It depends on the breadth and peculiarity of imagination. Drawing abstract paintings is new to the Kazakh art. Most of the artists are studying it and drawing their own feelings. I think people will appreciate them. This art should also be included in the Kazakh art. In the future, I will continue working on it. He is like a young child who takes the color and experiments with it. One piece is different from another. The colors are different and I love it. Several artists from Pavlodar especially come to support Alpispai. A unique exhibition of contemporary Kazakh art titled A Post-Nomadic Mine opened in London. The event is held as part of the modernization of Kazakhstan's identity program. The exhibition presents artworks by 33 Kazakh artists, including Asel Kadirkhanova. One of her latest installations, titled The Machine, attracted the attention of British public and experts. The work is dedicated to the victims of political repressions. The arrest warrants were copied from the original documents. I erased the names of the arrested people but left the signatures of those who delivered the sentences. Every warrant is the evidence of these people's personal involvement in crimes against humanity. And I know that she did a lot of research on the numbers of people that were killed in Kazakhstan during uh, Stalin's time. What I lo love about this work of art is how it illustrates that point in a very simple and simple way. So you get the threads of the art of, of, of the blood going straight forward. So the typewriter that the man wrote these wretched things on goes straight and connects Kazakhstan to this dreadful authoritarian dictator. In addition to the machine, the artist has other works such as Bir Kipish Duniege, Windows of Tolerance, Equilibrium and Swings of Mind. Her works cause genuine interest among both Kazakh and foreign art lovers. <laughs>